Hi. So we're going to talk about is mind control real? Yes, but not in the way you would think. Um, it was kind of crazy because I, I came to this realization like uh, I think it was yesterday that oh my god, I'm under some form of mind control. Um, let me just clarify. <laughs> I feel like when people think about mind control, they're thinking about like some robotic headset or some mechanical machine that's glued to somebody's head and it's like zapping them and they have like the little goggles with the glass and the colorful glass and um that's not what i'm talking about that would be pretty interesting though and i wonder if you know anything's ever happened like that before i've seen a couple of videos on it but like i literally forgot what it's called but anyways that's not the type of mind control i'm talking about even though that you know might also be relevant to this video <laughs> But when I mean mind control, I I notice how a lot more people, or a lot of people have been conditioned, especially kids that transition into, you know, teenagers, young adults, adults, you know, um, older people. I, I noticed how it's very common for people to have really deep conditions, like uh, be under the influence of really deep conditioning that is not anywhere beneficial to where they need to be going. Um, that could be like a really tainted image of themselves, uh, of the outside world, religion, um, culture, um, just different backgrounds or just different ideas and philosophies and religions. Um, and different practices like you have such a very disturbed or distorted view of these things to where you can't see yourself and if people are unable to see other people and they feel triggered or you know if they're unable to receive certain amounts of information and they're triggered their mental well-being is not healthy because i kid you not every time certain people get around certain people or certain things or hear certain things or see certain things they are under stress and you can tell by the way you see videos of people projecting or videos of people trying to give other people a hard time trying to take away their freedom trying to take away their rights try to take away um certain practices that actually serve other people um and when, when you think about mind control it happens quite often we live in a world that actually like capitalizes off our suffering they they clearly know the ropes, the marketing, the ads, uh, they know what people want. And when I mean they know what people want, this is not actually what people want. It's just what people have gotten. So they settle for it. Some people are still unaware that there's a life outside of themselves. There's a life outside of you. I mean, we are all life and a lot of us are actually connected to a lot of things in this world. But what I mean by that is that we all individual have like our own personalities. We have our own mindset. We have our own interests and stuff like that. And um, when we teach people to deny that or to only use their brain to work for somebody else or to function for somebody else, you are under mind control. <laughs> Your mind is being controlled. And I noticed this by the way, like I, I had made so many different transformational shifts in my life where I struggled, I was struggling, I had no support. People felt entitled to my pain because we all were conditioned to think people like me or people like this or people like that or people that believe in that or teachings like that. They're crazy, they're stupid, they're dumb. You won't ever be anything. So when they see somebody like them, try. And that's the thing with me, I've always just wanted to try. Like, even if I didn't know anything, I wanted to know. And I think that's why I often got, like, hurt because I would ask questions like, oh, like, for example, like, somebody would be calling me ugly, ugly and I would ask them a question like, how am I ugly and what would make me better? And, like, they would just feel uncomfortable, I guess, to where they wouldn't answer that question or they'd just be shocked that I dare ask them and confront them about their views. And, um... Yeah, I've done that so often to where it was just like, oh, okay, I see. Like, So when people say certain things or they have these beliefs or some of these teachings, like it doesn't, not everything is true. 
all because somebody has written it or said it sometimes it's not backed up by fact um but the way they are being controlled is because they're so focused on pleasing unknown source where are you getting your sources from i don't know it's just how it is have you ever questioned the way that you're living your life oh no i've just been doing it i can't do that because so and so will be mad at me i can't live my life because that means people like me are ugly so when they see somebody that's actually living their life, please just know there are certain people in this world that intentionally divide themselves because they don't think that it's achievable to have a life outside of somebody else. So when it, they see that it's done, a lot of people get disturbed. And sometimes you need to understand that, hey, I'm not thinking for myself. I'm thinking in terms of what my peers are going to say, what my family is going to say, what my aunt is going to say, you know, what the teacher is going to say, what is actually best serving me? Because what happens is if you choose to serve everything else, you're going to be a slave to those desires. You're going to be a slave to things that are actually damaging you, that are draining you of your power, of your life. And although your power is still there, it's just being replaced with the negativity. The negativity that those people had, oh no, it's being replaced into you. And they're taking every little joy, every little thought process that you thought you had, and they're giving you bullcrap because they're telling you to settle just so they can live a happy life. <laughs> um, and that's no bueno, bueno, ugh, no bueno. It's not good. <laughs> Not good at all. Um, so, like, I guess my message is just like, man, like, think for yourself. Like, a lot of people think that they're good at doing that, but until you realize, like, even the slightest little criticism that comes your way, even the slightest little anger, that news article, um, cravings, need overspending, you are being mind controlled. <laughs> These things are controlling your mind. And um, you don't need to be shamed for it. There's no need to feel ashamed. Like, we're all human. Like, if I could sit here and say, like, I haven't been through that, I'm, I'd be lying. So just understand, like, hey, like, they are different people going through different phases of life. And instead of judging other people and making it seem like some people are only, you know, capable of achieving X, Y, and Z, or they have it easier, or they have it this, and they have it that. Although, you know, do some people do have it easier or some people have had certain things and certain resources to actually set them up for success that you haven't had that doesn't mean that you are not going to get it that doesn't mean that um it just means that you actually have to put in the work and actually protect your mind this time okay boom something happened that was very traumatic uh to you get through it feel it don't suppress it because what it happens is it's controlling your mind it is because you start thinking so and so did this to me so and so said this they don't like me they hate me they did this really bad thing to me when people do bad things that is their intention i there's no end or if buts about it like and sometimes yes people don't know but they did it <laughs> and that's what i need you, you like to literally take it as they did it what can i do now okay um you don't want it to become a habit where this person has done something intentionally and they want it to hurt you and you let it hurt you don't let it hurt you <laughs> and it means like and i don't mean like oh like forget it no that's not what i'm saying i'm saying don't let it hurt you mentally you are stronger and when something or life hands you a problem you better be the one to find a solution to that problem moving forward how can i protect myself better moving forward how do i want to move around people like this how am i going to you know um keep my composure or not be as reactive how can i protect my emotional health from this person everything should be about you 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 what you can do not what you can't do not who hurts you because you're you're letting that control you forget that person if they did something, all right, cool. How are we going to come up with a plan to reveal what this person has done? How can I be 
best protect myself and set myself up for success because it's not going to constantly be putting this person on a pedestal in your mind don't let them have a stay-at-home vacation in your head okay don't let people drive you crazy presenting information to you and letting you know that there's no hope to life and all this bad and crazy things are going on within life because that's anything far from the truth that there's are actual good things going on at the moment you just have to be willing to hear them and search for them because what happens is we're used to bad things happening and feeding that to ourselves. like you don't even realize it, that you're feeding off these things because they give you comfort to not try because you're afraid of getting hurt again but the only way to you know conquer that fear is to put yourself out there and say like yo i won't be hurt again even if you will be in like situations where it's going to be troubling because life uh life is full of you know ups and downs affirm to yourself that you will not i mean you will not be used you will not be hurt by somebody else somebody else won't hurt you for this negative reaction they won't feed off your energy for a negative reaction a spiteful reaction uh, a vengeful reaction like allow yourself to affirm that there are better things for you and that you are protected and that there are people looking out for you because they are even if you know it's not here what you do is set yourself up for success when you allow yourself to think anything other than what these people want you to think. So, you know, gossip, <laughs> people trying to provoke you, uh, certain news articles and an excessive amount of negative energy, mind control. Hey, also color psychology. It's everywhere, baby. Like if you don't think like these people know <laughs> that there are people out there struggling but if we, you know, keep them at bay just enough and give them tad bits and pieces of what they always needed, but it's just not enough. It's not quite enough. Not quite enough for them to know themselves, for them to get what they want. And I have them rely on me for pieces of information that they don't really need, but they think they need because they think that there needs to be some type of person being their number one savior rescuing them instead of saying hey like i want to rescue myself from this i no longer want this to be the main source of my energy i don't want this to be my life this is sad um so uh so yeah um mind control man <laughs> that is very interesting like you really don't even realize how much oof you're being controlled or pushed towards certain directions until you, you realize how people need that. Like, I, I kid you not, like, people need that f for money. Like, how many times, like, somebody has done something intentionally to market something, to sell something, and people fall for it every time because they let their emotions get the best of them. Really sad. But, you know, they'll learn. I do feel like certain people within the crowd, they will eventually learn or just know, like, it's not serving me anymore. I, I don't want to care because it is it's literally not your job to care about all the world's problems. I don't know why here in America. Also, this is really confusing because it's just like, how can I save the world when I haven't saved myself? Really just protect your mind, protect your spirit, really only pour into things that are going to be really uplifting to you and give you a really great just sense of self. And you keep it because that is your confidence and your self-esteem is something that you have to constantly keep working on. It's not like, oh, one time thing, boom, done. Because I, I guarantee you, you will meet or have moments where something is unfamiliar to you and you'll be really unsure. And that will lower your confidence in an instant. I promise it will. So um, protect your peace, protect your mind, and I'm out. I love you.